Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. Yes, girl, yes. These bronzers just dropped today and when I got the notification on my Instagram, I was like, girl, let's go. Hop my happy ass in my car and went down to Sephora. And honestly, I was torn between two shades. I ended up going with the shade Coco Naughty. I might also be able to get away with using the shade right before it, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and go with this shade because when I was swatching it in Sephora, you know, the Sephora lights of deceit and trickery. So Sephora had recommended me the other shade, but when I went into Sephora and I swatched it, it I couldn't even see it on my skin anywhere. It didn't show up, period. So I went ahead and I got the next shade because i rather have something a little bit darker and I can just use a little bit at a time and build it up. Or if it's too dark, I'll just take it back and get the other one. So the shade that was recommended that I get by Sephora is Caramel Cutie, but when I swatched it in the store, it, it didn't show up on me at all. So I went on ahead and went with the shade Coco Naughty instead. Caramel Cutie is tan to deep with neutral undertones and Coco Naughty is deep with neutral undertones. So I feel like I fall in between both of those, I'm more on the deeper side than the tan side, so, and I have neutral undertones, so I feel like either one of them will work for me, so I went on ahead and got the, the, the darker one. You know, just to be safe. Just to be safe for my melanin. So I already went ahead and did my makeup because we are focusing on the bronzer today, but I did use mostly Fenty Beauty products just to see how they all work and mesh well with each other. So I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and I'm in the shade 420, the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and I use the shade 385, and I use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I use them on my, as my highlight today and in my inner tear duct. So those are the Fenty products that, those are all the Fenty products that I have. I'm actually waiting on the setting powders to come. I, did, I got a free sample of it from Sephora. They offered a little free trial size with $25 purchase. So bloop bloop add to cart because I wasn't too sold on the powder. So the fact that I was able to get it for free, if it's free, it's for me. So I'm gonna do an updated full face of Fenty for you. Just hold on for that. I'm waiting on this other powder. Sephora was tripping. They said, you gonna wait for this free sample, girl. You gonna wait for it. I'll wait. This is what the packaging looks like is super shiny and you open up you have a little mirror here and like i said the shade that i got is coco naughty so i feel like this shade is going to work really well for me i feel like it'll go really good with my skin tone so let's zoom in and see what she's about okay hold on is this close enough for y'all is this cute enough let me get a little bit closer a little pinch oh i also forgot to mention i'm using the fenty lip gloss too so again here's the here's the bronzer up close such a pretty, excuse my girl, I've been touching on Lonnie. Such a cute, very pretty, very fancy, very fancy. <sighs> All right, let me find a bronzer brush because the bronzer brush that I usually use is dirty. This might be okay. So I'm gonna use this brush, cute little slant. This brush is from Amazon, it's, it's from BS Mall, BS-Mall. It's one of those, you know, cheap little brush sets that you get from Amazon, but they're actually very nice brushes. Let's go ahead and put this to the test. Doesn't have a smell. It's cute. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit because this might be a little too dark for me. So I'm just using a little bit at a time, building it up. This color, I feel like this color is gonna be perfect for me actually. So, so far this is not the most pigmented bronzer. I mean, like if you go back and watch my other um, Hula Benefit um, 
bronzer video like that one like as soon as you touched it even a little bit and you put it on it was like boom pigment this one is more subtle which is which is fine with me it's actually a lot easier to use a more subtle bronzer because you can kind of just take your time and and build it up now let's hit this forehead Definitely a very subtle bronzer. Y'all think I like this? What do y'all think? Can y'all, can you even notice? I can. It definitely brought some warmth to my forehead here and I can see it on my cheeks too. Very warm, very subtle. I feel like you could build this up too. You know, if you wanna go ham with your bronzer and contour but I don't really contour I do more of a bronzing situation so it's cute I like it I'm about to break a sweat in here Whew. Lord Jesus it's a fire all right so since it is such a subtle bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush I would not normally use this brush to to contour my nose but I'm gonna use it because this is such a subtle bronzer, I feel like it's not gonna be too harsh on my nose. And I don't do like extreme snatching of the nose or anything. I just do something very, very light, very subtle. When I did the Hula bronzer video, I went a little ham, I understand that, but y'all, it was so pigmented, I, I couldn't help it. You know what? I actually picked the perfect shade because if I would have gotten the lighter shade, I, I really wouldn't have been able to see anything because this is showing up just perfectly, just the right amount. Not too dark, not too cool. Easy to blend. Really, you better do it. All right, I think that's cute. All right, I'm gonna highlight my nose. I cannot find my Mean Money Hustle Baby highlighter. She has left my life. Where does she go? I do not know, but she will come back to me eventually. You know, it's when you stop looking for stuff that it just pops back up in your face. Like, boom, bitch, I was here looking at you. Look for me. Let me put a little bit under my chin. Under my chins. Okay, I'm feeling cute. Thanks to Rihanna. Thank you, girl. Let's wrap this video up. This was just a quick first impressions. So all in all, I do like the bronzer. I feel like it's a pretty subtle bronzer, but it's definitely something that I feel like is buildable. It's easy to blend. This one is warm. It is not too cool, but this is too cool for school. It's, it's too hot and I'm getting lame. Yes, I like the bronzer. <laughs> yes, I'm going to use it again in future videos. Absolutely, I'm gonna use this on a daily basis. I'm gonna use it a few more times just to make sure that it's really, it's really for me, but I can already tell you I feel like it is. Just right off the bat, it's just one of those bronzers that is just the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. Gets a thumbs up from me get job riri keep them coming i'm looking forward to more products let me know what you thought about this bronzer did you buy it what shade did you get did you find that it worked for you or do you need a different shade is there your shade do you feel like there are enough shades or do you feel like there should be more shades personally i do feel like there could be some more shades there are darker girls out there there is one more shade darker than this one and i feel like there are uh, women that are darker than that so I, I do feel like, as usual, with bronzers, there can be more shades. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!